Welcome to Var India News R. Global 5G connections to touch 3.2 billion by 2026. A new study has found that the total number of 5G connections will reach 3.2 billion by 2026, rising from 310 million in 2021. To maximize the monetization of this significant growth in connections, it predicts that operators will accelerate investments into standalone 5G networks to best position their services to manage future capacity. Standalone 5G networks leverage next-generation technologies such as network orchestration tools to enable operators to monetize data incentive use cases like remote healthcare and mobile gaming. The new study from Juniper Research says identify automatic network orchestration tools as a key priority for operators in monetizing their 5G services. These tools allow operators to adapt network conditions based on AI analysis of traffic, providing more bandwidth to connections that need it and maintaining service performance. Operators in China, Japan and South Korea have all implemented lower subscription costs which have accelerated 5G adoption, thus enabling these subscribers to explore novel services that require 5G connectivity. By 2026, the report predicts that the average revenue per 5G smartphone connection will fall to $17 globally from $29 in 2021, significantly impacting operator revenue. To alleviate this decline, it recommends that operators leverage orchestration tools to retain a network's highest throughout and lowest latency for connections that require it. By utilizing this approach, operators can justify charging a premium to these prioritized connections over other 5G connections and slow this declining average revenue. 5G connectivity, network intelligence and edge computing are unleashing a whole new world of opportunities such as the delivery of immersive experience using metaverse, augmented reality, virtual reality among others. The network infrastructure of the future will need to be even more agile and software driven to bring such possibilities into life. Asia-Pacific is going to account for 2 billion collection connections by 2026. The report found that over 60% of global 5G connections will be located in the Asia-Pacific region by 2026. Network orchestration technologies alongside MM wave frequencies that enable data-intensive 5G services will be a key driver in creating an ecosystem in this region that allows mobile subscribers to leverage 5G networks for emerging mobile services whilst maintaining network performance. Operators will increase investment in standalone 5G networks to best position their services to manage future capacity in order to optimize the monetization of the large growth in 5G connections. Operators can monetize data intensive use cases like remote healthcare and mobile gaming using standalone 5G networks, which use next generation technology like network orchestration tool. And the value added 5G services must be monetized by operators. Let's look into today's headlines in Var India. LIC loses Rs 77,600 crore market capitalization from IPO issue price. In the last four trading sessions, LIC not only lost its fifth most valued company position, but also its market cap has been wiped out to the tune of more than Rs 77,600 crore against the IPO issue price. LIC shares closed at Rs 826.25 apiece, down by Rs 14.50 or 1.72% on BSE. At the upper price band of Rs 949 apiece in the IPO, LIC's market capitalization stood at Rs 6,242 crore. LIC launched its initial public offering worth nearly Rs 21,000 crore from May 4 to May 9. The IPO was fully subscribed by 2.95 times with massive demand from policyholders, employees, institutionals and HNIs. RBI instructs banks and ATMs on cardless cash withdrawals. The Reserve Bank of India has asked all banks and ATM operators to make cardless cash withdrawal facility, known as interoperable cardless cash withdrawal, available at all ATMs across all banks in India. The central bank has directed the National Payments Corporation of India to facilitate unified payments interface integration with all banks and ATM networks. Withdrawal limits for ICCW transactions shall be in line with the limits for regular honours or office ATM withdrawals. Elon Musk accused of sex harassment. Billionaire Elon Musk took to Twitter to denounce as utterly untrue claims in a news report that he had sexually harassed a flight attendant on a private jet in 2016. Musk's SpaceX paid $250,000 in 2018 to settle a sexual harassment claim from an unnamed private jet flight attendant who accused Musk of exposing himself to her, an anonymous person who said she was a friend of the flight attendant. The friend had provided a statement as part of the private settlement process. 
831 failed transactions and Rs 7.3 crore stolen with razor pay software. Hackers and fraudulent customers have stolen Rs 7.38 crore by tampering and manipulating the authorization process of razor pay software to authenticate 831 failed transactions. In a complaint lodged to the Southeast Cybercrime Cell, RazorPay's head of legal disputes and law enforcement, Abhishek Abhinav Anand, said the company was unable to reconcile receipt of Rs 7.38 crore against 831 transactions. Meanwhile, RazorPay said its payment gateway is at par with the industry standards on data security. RBI board approves Rs 30,307 crore as surplus to the Centre for 2021-22. to the Central Board of Directors of the RBI has approved a transfer of Rs 30,307 crore as surplus to the centre for the accounting year 2021-22. The board in its meeting reviewed the current economic situation, global and domestic challenges and the impact of recent geopolitical developments. The board also discussed the working of the Reserve Bank during the year April 2021 to March 2022 and approved the annual report and accounts of the Reserve Bank for the accounting year 2021-22. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.